Hi there, it's Ben, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Faith Life Proclaim to your live streaming software, mainly so that you can support lower thirds on your live stream. So this is where, for example, you'd see me talking, or maybe your pastor, or your music team, or minister, and then as they're talking, and, and you, of course, have um, slides on screen, maybe you're, you're playing a song like this. Um, so these slides are going out to the projector, but then you have a lower third, just like this, for example, you know, where um, this is actually being overlaid onto the video. So you're seeing a demo right now, I'm going to show you. But that is an example of lower thirds, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today, because a lot of times what I see on live streams is that, and, and we've even done this, I've done this before I was able to figure all this out, which is overlay the entire slide so that people watching at home or watching live can sing along, they have the words with them. Uh, but that's not the ideal case. It's the ideal case is where we can show them the words and show them what's going on, you know, inside uh, the room as well. So how do we do this? Well, number one, it depends a little bit on your live streaming software. However, we're going to use a tool that's called NDI. It's actually a protocol, um, and it's it's called NDI. So what it is, what NDI does, is it allows you to take like video inputs, like you're seeing here, or video inputs like here. They're connected to your your local internet network, your local area network, that's your LAN right here, that's your, basically just the network that's at your church or your building or your office space, wherever you're meeting, and what it's going to do is make that video feed or make that input, so it can also be, you know, Proclaim has inputs as well, and you can pull these inside of Proclaim or inside of your video streaming software. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to set up Proclaim as an output so we're going to come over here into settings and then if we come into settings then we should see the uh, let's see display and then right here we will see lower thirds and so that's that's just right there and if we look at this if we do add custom output and we can say lower thirds and we can say output type NDI, and you can see that NDI, and obviously there's a virtual screen, and so we can um, assign that to lower thirds. So now this is all connected, and that's all you have to do. Now, I'll walk you through this again, but essentially what we're doing here is that we've added this virtual screen, which if you recall, a virtual screen is, are these up here. So this is a slide, and then we have the lower thirds slide, um, which allows me to control that. And we also have the confidence monitor. You should have this one by default. If you don't have the lower third slide, all you have to do to fix that is simply, again, come back into display and then press add virtual screen and then you'll have the lower thirds and you can just say that it's alternate content. Now, I'll show you how to set up the design of the lower thirds, but before we get into all of that, let's actually talk about how do we actually get this into a streaming software. So, for me, I use a tool called vMix. Now, I've used OBS and I've used others, Wirecast. They're all great tools and most of them are going to support NDI. So this tool, though, vMix was recommended to me by somebody who's been doing this a lot longer than I have, and so I decided to check it out. So what I want you to do is just simply download a free trial. And as we're doing that, um, and I'll download this one here, so we'll keep it. And what I just want to mention to you is that if you're already using another software, that's totally fine. Just put in the name of your software and search NDI. So for example, if you use OBS, just search NDI support, OBS NDI support, and look, you can already see it right here. New Tech NDI, that's the creators of NDI integration into OBS and then you know go to download and then it's going to give you the code to do that and again if you're using OBS you're probably a little bit more technical this software is very easy to use so I'm going to go ahead and open the installer and we'll get started with that uh, just to get it going but technically once we go live inside of Proclaim since we've already set up that virtual output down here the NDI output then it's going to actually go ahead and work. Now, I only have one monitor on this computer, and that's what's powerful about this. You would probably have on your side, you know, multiple outputs um, going to your projectors and other things possibly. Um, and again, I can show you our church's full setup at a later point in time. But what we're doing here is really all virtual outputs. So there's no additional screens that are required. All right, so let me close this here, and let's get vMix installed, and I'll bring you back. And so as the installer is finishing up, I just want to mention to you that uh, vMix actually is only on Windows. So if you're using Mac, uh, which I do use a lot, but if you're using Mac, you won't be able to use vMix. You'll have to use another tool. So I'll have to cover in another video more tools and more options. But look into OBS, look into Wirecast, and uh, there are other, other options out there as well. 
So as you can see here, if you want to register for a vMix trial, very easy once you get it installed, just simply say register for a fully functional 60 day trial and put in your email address. It's that easy. All right, so this isn't going to be a full vMix tutorial, but what I'm going to do is simply press add input down here. And I'm going to come over here and you already probably see the NDI desktop capture, but first I'm going to add a camera. And so let's see, can we do a sample input? Does that actually, let me see if this works really quick. And so here it is. And then basically the way the vMix works is you can like fade things across. So back and forth. So this is what's live and this is what's, you know, being previewed. So we have the sample input. That would be like our camera. Uh, this video, I'm not going to explain how to get your camera inside of here, but that would be like your camera. And then over here on blank, I'm just going to, again, come down here. I'm going to change the input. Actually, it's not letting us. So I'm going to add a new input and I'm going to click NDI and it's going to search for NDI feeds that it can pull from. Now there's nothing, nothing's going to show up here. And if you're at this step and you're going, why is nothing showing up? I intentionally included it because I made the same problem. What you have to do is after you have actually come into Proclaim and you've gone to display, you've set up your lower thirds, you have that, and then you also have the output set up to NDI, you have to actually go live. So I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller and go on air. And then I'm going to tab out just like this. So I'm going to allow access on this. So that's fine. I'm going to come back over here into vMix though. I'm going to add input and you can see lower thirds is here now. Well, it was and it disappeared. Okay, so I've added it now. And so as you can see, here's our Sunday service schedule. And so um, the reason though, now that this isn't working, maybe how you would expect it to is simply because what I have set up here in Proclaim, and I'll make this larger screen so we can look at this a little bit easier too. Um, and I usually prefer this one is these. So let me go back to edit mode really quick. What I have set up is that these announcements up here, the lower thirds is actually a mirror. And so you can see that it says mirror. Um, and the reason why is because on the announcements, I don't want to have a lower thirds. There's no other content. So if we're before we're starting our stream, I just wanted to cycle through these just like it does uh, usually. However, once we get down to one of these right here, so for example, I'll click on since Jesus came into my heart. And as you can see, um, the wrong lyrics are showing up, but the lyrics are showing up. And so as I click, it's changing this. Now, if I go to our, like, our logo, then our logo comes up. If I, um, and I'll just briefly show you this video, the video does in fact play over there. Um, if I, you know, go to a sermon title, then that, that shows up. And what we're seeing there is just uh, another lower third, the scripture, it works as well. And I have a different lower third there. It's actually kind of a side lower third. A couple things here for us to look at. Number one is how do we actually get the green behind this though? How do we make this an overlay? It's very simple in vMix. You literally just simply merge this in. And then all you do is just press one, which is an overlay. So now it's overlaid. Um, it doesn't matter what you're doing over here. This is overlaid on the live feed. So now if I come back over here, and I go to this song, for example, even on air, and you can see that it is in fact overlaid on the bottom like we want it to. If we click on sermon title, that's overlaid. So the green would represent our video output essentially. Um, and so as you can see, it is it is all in fact working now. If you overlay something though that takes up the full resolution, such as our logo, then it will in fact cover what was showing. So that's that simple. Now there's one last thing which we've already run into, and it was another issue. I and mean, again, this was kind of a sample presentation. Luckily, um, this wasn't actually live. But there's something that I want to show you about, which you have to keep in mind if you're doing this, because it does add a bit more work on the preparation side when you're preparing the presentations. That is, you saw that we have this slide here. What a wonderful change my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. On the lower third, though, we have a whole other song that was being shown. Why is that? What happened here? Well, here's what happened. I had modified this text, and I'll show you why. Um, and then what I do to save time is I duplicate the presentations and I simply change the name of the song here. And I guess in this case, I had not come in here and, and fixed this. So what you have to do is you have to press restore text and that will bring us here. Um, it'll bring it back. It'll match it all up. So now it all matches. And what I normally do is I come in here and I spend the time to actually make sure that this looks good. So I will, for example, put all that on the same line like so uh, just to kind of, you know, I don't like it to be more than about two or three lines. Three lines okay. On this song, I probably actually wouldn't change it too much. But as you can see though, you know, this, these two lines look a lot better than 
um, than, you know, necessarily having it like that. It just, you know, it takes up a little bit more width and just, for me, it generally looks better. This song isn't a, a perfect example of that. But what I'm going to say, though, is that if you change this, so for example, I've changed this and, um, and for example, I'll just even put in just a very large test right here just to show you this. This does not affect the lyrics on the main presentation. So you won't have to see that because that test there is not there on that second line. There's no test. Now, if I change this song, so I'm going to change the song. It did not change the lower thirds. The lower thirds are the exact same as they were a minute ago. So if I want to do instead do this song, I have to press restore text. And as you can see, this is a better example of why you need to come in here and fix it on the lower thirds because you just want it to look a little bit better, like so. Um, and that looks significantly better than it's so small down here and you can't read it. You got to keep in mind, people may be watching this on their phones. They may be watching this, you know, on a smaller TV. So take the time to really make it look good if you're going to do this. You're already doing so much work putting this together. You're already doing so much work with the live stream. Put in a little extra mile and, and, uh, and make sure that this looks good. So just a word of caution there. Make sure that you are restoring text if you're doing what I do, which is duplicating the presentation. So every time I duplicate, uh, and then I'll come in here and change the songs and swap the backgrounds out. And I do that because it also saves time on the lower thirds. Because I didn't show you yet, how do you actually get this to be a lower third? So here's how you do that. I'm going to add a brand new song so that we don't have anything here. So I'm just going to click um, here, and we'll, we'll do the same song, uh, To God Be the Glory. Okay, so here it is, To God Be the Glory, and let's, let's just put a normal background on it. I'll just do a quick one like this. Okay, so here it is, and our lower thirds, uh, they look the same. So you're saying, well, what's going on? I mean, if we put this live, this would take up the full screen. So what's how do we fix this? So here's how you fix it. One, you click on the lower thirds virtual uh, screen tab, go to background, browse media, and then over here on the left side, go down to popular tags and click lower thirds. Now here's all the lower thirds that you know are currently available in here, and of course you can upload custom things. So choose one that you like. Um, let's go with this one for now and apply smart media. It doesn't look very good. Uh, that's because the line height is is again that's it's pretty high. So I'm gonna I'll fix that. Then obviously you'll have to come in here and fix this. So I'll just fix the first one just for time's sake, but I think you would get the idea. So that looks a lot better, and you can, of course, reposition it as needed. Now, uh, this 50 up here, that doesn't really make sense. Um, again, if you're watching, you probably don't have a book at home, so you can actually just delete that if you don't want it there. So it's gone. So now on the slide itself, we have this, and on the lower third, we have this. So that's all it was, is that you can change, essentially, what is being shown um, here, and you can actually choose a lower third. All right, so as you can see, now as we're advancing through here, that's changing our, our lower third is here. Obviously, it doesn't look very good. That's why I would, I would caution you uh, and, and just encourage you to spend the time to actually make it look decent. The final thing that I'll say is that, and this is just a very quick final closing tip, is I always duplicate the presentations. That's why I ran into that issue is because I duplicate. And the reason why is that way I don't have to come in here and update the lower third every time by going to the background and everything. So I normally just duplicate the presentation make sure you come in here and restore text anytime you do it um, but this way all the songs and everything have that same thing with the sermon titles these are their own lower thirds and the scripture has its own lower thirds too so there there's a collection of lower thirds for the scripture as well um, as you can see here okay and then that's really all there is to it so yeah here's the one that i chose right here if you don't already have Proclaim, but you're interested in you know getting a trial after seeing this, then click the link below. It's a special affiliate link, so it does support me. Uh, I may receive a commission if you click it. But obviously, you can see here, I, I'm I'm into this program. I uh, I've made a lot of videos on it, obviously, and so um, it does support me. But it it really is my recommendation for people who are just getting started, uh, people who don't have a ton of time to fool around with a bunch of advanced programs. I've used ProPresenter. I've used the other ones. Um, I've, I have a whole detailed post on my website about my comparison between them. This is my recommended program, and I even use this, and I consider myself pretty tech savvy. And so I would, you know, there's a balance between ease of use and then what actually works. So anyway, that's my actual honest recommendation, even if I wasn't, you know, having um, an affiliate relationship with Lagos or Faith Life. But with all that being said, 
If you want to support it, use the link below. If not, don't use it, but you'll get a 14-day trial, and you'll be able to use this for two Sundays at your church. So I, I really would encourage you to take advantage of that um, if you have any interest at all. If you're using another program or anything else, or you have comments or questions, again, in the comments, I reply to pretty much every one of them. It may take me a little bit of time to get, you know, see your comment and reply, but I will see it. I do check them. Um, you know, almost every other day. So with that being said, thanks again for coming by and hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye.